Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about witchcraft in the church. I need you all to understand that for whoever this word is for, God has sent you in there for a purpose. So I was just reminded um, of a video, like this video right here. I was supposed to release this a couple of months ago and got distracted probably when God, you know, began to move me from my uh, old location. You know, I, I think I just got distracted and forgot all about the video, but I was just reminded of it today um, that I was supposed to bring awareness to this and help you all to get understanding of what um, God is revealing to you in your dreams and why you may be at the, the, this particular church, okay? So again, this word isn't for everyone, but who is for you would know that this word is for you because it's, it's going to speak directly to your situation and it's going to give you clarity and understanding. So uh, for those of you, you know, who are standing for your God ordained love story, um, and if your God ordained spouse, you know, maybe your God ordained spouse is in the church uh, with you. However, there's no communication. Um, you know, your spouse probably don't even say it. It, it could have started off where you and your spouse, when y'all were in the church, uh, and you can still be going to church, but maybe it started off as y'all were friends talking, and somewhere in the midst of all of this, a separation happened, and now as you go to church you know your god ordained spouse is avoiding you ignoring you um they may even be with a counterfeit sitting up in the church right so listen i need you to continue to pay attention to your dreams because god is going to begin to reveal to you what is going on in the church that you're currently um at he's going to reveal to you um certain people the enemy who um you know, that's in the church, that's operating against you, uh, whether you realize it or not, okay? And what God is doing, what he is after, because you may be you may be discerning something that's off, right? You may be wondering, why, why these people don't, you know, they stop, you know, talking to me, why they don't like me all of a sudden. You may be trying to figure this stuff out. And so, again, this is why, I was supposed to release this video a couple of months ago, but I have forgot. And so understand there's witchcraft going on in the church. And I need you to understand what this means, because whenever there's witchcraft in the church, OK, um, that also means there is a demonic altar, OK, erected over this church. So I need you to begin to pay attention to or even ask yourself, what is the fruit being manifested from this church? Because it could be if you if you, if all of the members there are single, that is a fruit, and it's letting you know, okay, that there is an evil altar erected over this particular church that is against marriage, okay? Because you see the fruit of singleness here, okay, that's being played out. Um, you might even be at a church where all of the members, the congregation, they are going through hardship, everyone getting sick. You know, they facing homelessness, you know, poverty is present, right? Again, that is a fruit that is being manifest from this particular church. And again, witchcraft, okay, is the root problem. It's an evil altar that is erected over this church, okay? And so, again, pay attention to your dream because God is going to reveal to you who has the door open to the enemy. He's going to reveal to you, okay? um who are the witches who are the warlocks who are the wizards okay he's going to reveal these things to you in your dream but you got to know what this stuff means when god highlight this to you in your dream if you see these individuals dressed in all black that's a witch or a warlock okay um you got to know okay uh what god is saying to you that's why it's very important that we are learning how to properly interpret our dream but and I'm saying this, I'm bringing this to your uh, revelation because you may be wondering, why is my God ordained spouse acting funny? Why did he or she all of a sudden stop talking to me? Why are they now avoiding me in church, right? Not knowing or understanding, because if you don't understand witchcraft, you won't understand 
what I'm saying right now. You won't understand witchcraft and how it operates through the church, right? You won't understand how this witchcraft, this evil altar that was erected, okay, over the church, how it is now the very thing that is coming in between you and your God ordained marriage promise. It's the very thing that's that's keeping you you two separated, right? And then the enemy will also operate through some of the people in the church. Don't be surprised if you find out the enemy is operating through the pastor. Don't be surprised if you find out the enemy is operating through the first lady. Don't be surprised if you find out the enemy is operating through these leaders. The very people who are praying over you. That's why you need to be mindful of who you allow to lay hands on you and pray over you because you don't know. Who they really are behind the scenes okay but pay attention to your dreams when god show you things in your dream or vision uh I, I put a lot of emphasis on dreams because that's how god speaks to me a lot but when god begin to reveal things to you or he allows you to see certain things going on in the church and you're like why everyone getting sick here why why there's no progress why you know um people losing their homes why everyone's single God is showing you this for a reason. That is the fruit that is being manifest from that church. You will know them by their fruit, okay? So, again, um, he wanted me to bring awareness to this because some of you are going through this right now and you're wondering, you know, why these individuals responded to you this way. You're wondering why your God-ordained spouse, you know, when... The, the two of you used to be in contact. Now, all of a sudden, you see your spouse, you know, hanging with a whole nother group of people at church and avoiding you. This could be the very reason. Because when witchcraft is, is in operation in a church, you're going to find a lot of gossiping going on. You're going to find, you know, that your name is the one being slandered in there. You're going to be lied on. Uh, Jezebel is in, in the church in operation, okay? Okay. Um, that's going to be working to keep you away from your spouse and vice versa, okay? You're going to see all this. You're going to see Leviathan begin to rise up. You're going to see, okay, um, leaders, you know, manifesting control, controlling behavior, okay? Um, you're going to see it. You just got to know what to look for, okay? But pay attention to your dreams because we are in a season where, oh, this is the other thing I had to say. I, I knew it was something else. It was another piece to this um, message I had to tell you. But the reason why God has sent you to this church, okay? Because I know you probably wonder, well, well, why would God reveal my spouse to me or, or lead me to this church only for God to cause a separation? It's a reason why God sent you in there. It was for a purpose, okay? Because you, were, you are the one who God looked at. See, God always looked at the heart. And he discerns the heart. He know who... He already know I can use this one right here. So God already knew I could use you, okay? And the reason why God has you standing, the reason why God wants you to learn your power in prayer, the reason why, you know, God is, is giving you dreams so that you can learn how to interpret your dreams and he's giving you visions, right? And he's basically training you right now uh, on your gifts. The reason for this is because you are the one who God sent into that church to take it down, Okay. God is going to use you to reveal himself to the members and the leaders in this church. So don't come off your post. Stop, stop looking at the appearance of things. Stop looking at how your God-ordained spouse is responding to you and begin to see what is God doing? Why does God still have me here? What is the revelation that God is waiting on me to get? What you know? Why is he teaching me all of this? Why is he showing me all this in my dream? Because it's for a purpose. It's for a reason. Because what you don't know, God see all. He hear all. And he has already, before he sent you in, he's been speaking to them leaders. He's been speaking to everyone in that church, convicting them of their evil ways. He's been convicting them. And he's been, you know, uh, rebuking them and everything. But they keep suppressing the truth. They keep on with their witchcraft ways. They have kicked God out of the church. And so now they're an enemy to God. So again, he led you to that church for a reason because you're the one he's going to use to take down the enemy. The church is coming down. We are in a season where God is coming up against this witchcraft. He is, he is showing the enemy. He is letting the enemy know 
that he see all and he is more powerful than the enemy. So you're going to see a lot of churches coming down in this season. You're going to see a lot of leaders being exposed for false, being false prophets. You're going to see this. Don't be surprised or shocked when God begin to reveal to you the leaders you're following are false and they serve in the devil. That's not the time for you to go in denial. That's the time for you to begin to see a thing for what it is. When God exposes to you, listen, you can't unsee what God has shown to you. Okay, so he sent you in for a reason, for a purpose. It's time to suit up for battle. It's time for you to learn your identity and where your authority comes from. It's time for you to learn the power of prayer. It's time for you to get on that post and stay on that post and pray against these altars. Begin to send the fire of God to destroy every evil altar that was erected over your life, your spouse's life, and over that church. It's time for us to get bold. This is what God is waiting on. So that is the message. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.